I think my own reconciliation journey started when I first came to Canada in 1980. I grew up in the United States and before that really hadn't had any awareness or contact of uh, Aboriginal issues. And coming here to Vancouver and being around the streets of downtown, I suddenly became aware that there was this whole community that I was unaware of. And my instinct was to learn more, to reach out, to find out the history, and to build relationships. And that's um, been a process going on 35 years now. I think reconciliation for the university means being truly and deeply Canadian, being completely inclusive, encompassing everyone and every issue that uh, goes on in Canada. And by example, saying that um, we as an institution do not think it's okay for the most disadvantaged Canadians to continue that way. Organizations are very difficult to move and they're very difficult to convince to do something that is um, societally difficult. I think change at one institution spills over to others. Uh, universities are always looking at each other saying, oh, what's, what's the university down the street doing? We have to do that too. And so when they see our example of things we're doing for reconciliation, I think uh, it spills over. We had a number of um, fabulous programs that were designed in different ways to explore different aspects of reconciliation. We did a day and a half workshop at, for university faculty, staff, and students to explore what reconciliation meant in the context of a university and what a university could do. We did a similar event with a number of, uh, of school districts. We invited 150 high school students, their teachers, and their administrators to come together, learn more about Aboriginal history, about their need for reconciliation. We did an event on uh, about pluralism, in which we took some represent we asked some representative groups here in Canada who have experienced discrimination, who have things to reconcile: Japanese Canadians, Chinese Canadians, of course First Nations, Aboriginal Canadians. The, um, uh, we, had, we had the Sikh community come, the Jewish community, and anybody else who felt that, they, that their community had um, issues to reconcile. I think if there's any one thing that students need to learn at university, it has nothing at all to do with their, um, with their majors. It has to do with the kind of person that they're going to be. And the kind of student I would like to graduate from university is somebody who embraces the idea of reconciliation in all of its forms.